name's Grunda. It's going to be tight, but I think it'll just get in. Hmm. Should we put a piece of tongue and groove against it and see? Hmm. Close to that. Hmm. Too close. Mm. We've had a bit of a rethink because originally we we're going to go across there like that on that sort of angle and then get both sides of the doorway, the bathroom and the bedroom like uniform but it's it's too close for comfort to the, the door swings into the bedroom so we're going to go with this idea where it goes flat across there from the door and then There'll be another, these are the water from there, and then it'll come across there and then carry on that way. So, just got to sort of work out where this piece of ply is going to be cut. So, I'm just measuring it off there, really. So, I can uh, take this away, cut that down there, and then get a piece of ply to go across between this bit of ply and there. And then, then it'll all follow that shape with all the tongue of on the front. Yeah, I'm going to cut that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the back of this groove away here so we, the tongue, this tongue will fit into that groove but also hopefully it'll allow that to kick around that corner and still keep that joint looking right. So that's the next the next job. Let's say you just run it a Stanley down there to cut that back edge away and we'll see if that works. So as I said, all I've done there is I've cut that back of that groove off there. So thinking behind it is that that can still overlap that joint there 
and follow this pattern so it's but also now I can tilt that on the angle it still keeps that joint looking right but also lets me go around the corner with there and it, yeah it's worked out nice that has pleased with that I was lucky so it's just a case of now figuring this one out Right, the same idea with this now is I'm going to cut the back of this one off so that this tongue will fit into that groove just in the front edge and still let me go along this there. And then all I've got to do then is just trim this edge back to the door frame. Oh yeah. So all I've done with that is got a bit of fly there and show you from here. Just run my standard down the back and cut that groove away. Now that can go over there like that. I need to work on that. Oh, okay. And then that one can overlap that one like that. So then that all pattern, all the all these joins look the same all the way around the boat then. That go into there. That one to there. do then is it's just past the tongue on there or just it just needs cutting down there and that'll all fit in i'll just shout the gaffer and see what she thinks she's busy doing varnishing, varnishing. <laughs> so do you want to have a look at this age a quick look yeah that works well doesn't it yeah yeah i mean i, I do like the I know the look you of it yeah. going like that, but Forgotten. you can't. No. It's too risky. Oh, too risky. That's nice. Yeah, that'll work like that, won't yeah. it? Yeah. How are you doing that joint? Um, there? Yeah. Well, that's just going to overlap. That? That's yeah. going to go in, that's going to go behind, that tongue will just fit behind there, look like that. Yeah. So we'll glue it up. Yeah. Glue that one up. Yeah. And then. It's just got to cut this to the right size for the door frame here. It's only a, a smidgen off there though. Just cut that down there. That will fit, fit back there. That's good. So. Yep, like it. Like it? Yeah. Right. I'm on my third coat of varnish. Oh yeah. <laughs> but that's it for today. That'll have to just... Let that dry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'd be fumed up.
I glue all the pine tongue and groove pieces onto the plywood and let them dry. Then I get a coat of undercoat on them um, before they're ready to be painted. Using the tight bond glue again, um, we've used that now since we discovered it, it's, it works really well. Um, once there, it's all done, we lay laid the board on the floor and put some heavy bricks on the top. So we don't want the pine cupping until we can get the tacks put in place. We fasten the cladding to the ply and blocks and nailed it through there top and bottom so that should secure that into place. Um, I've cut this top cover to length so all I need to do now is cut mark out where these radiator pipes are going to come through so just put a little pencil line on there where the centre line of that is and then all I'll do then is I'll measure the centre of this pipe from the wall. About 65. Just check the other side. So I know now that that's the centre and that's the edge this front edge of that pipe so I need to go this way from there I'm going to draw them slightly bigger anyway so there's a bit of play there so uh, I'll go and take that away and draw those and then I'll show you where I'm at with that after that in there to line up with these so now I'm going to take these off I can place that over the top of there and now I can trace that line underneath And then I can cut this out and I'm just going to leave a little bit of a lip on there so that that end just finishes flush well, flush with that door there so it's just a couple of mil over that and then we'll have a nice edge and then we'll run the router down the edge same as the other side and finish the finish the shape off then so I'll get the right I'll get the uh, sorry jigsaw now and I'll cut that shape out
Right, the moment's the truth. Let's see if it's anything like. We're using cupboard door magnets so that all these panels can be easily removed. It's really surprising how strong those magnets are. Yeah, they're good, aren't they? Let's put that there. Out of the road.
I've got to show you. I'll show you his legs. <laughs> Where did that one bend? Hey? Eh? Never challenge me to a twister competition. <laughs> I'm a 1984 UK all-comers champion. You think I'll be used to it by now, but I just every time you sit down like that, I think that's impossible. Your legs were built for a narrowboat. <laughs> Got a bag of screws under there, they've caught under it. They're dragging it, so. Very good. Looks alright, doesn't it? It does. back in. <laughs> 